everybody, and welcome back to another Wheel of Time TV show news update. I literally released a news update like last week, uh, and here we are with more Wheel of Time TV show news to talk about, and certainly some very polarizing leaks that I'm sure are going to generate quite a bit of conversation among the fan base. Before diving into the news, I'm excited to announce a new partnership here on the channel. As I mentioned in the past, I will only ever partner with advertisers or companies that I personally use or believe in. I am actually really thrilled to have this partner as a supporter here on the channel, as I've been using their services for like the last few years now regularly. I'm happy to announce that Skillshare will be sponsoring the channel along with our existing sponsor, Audible.com. If you aren't aware of what Skillshare is, it's an online learning community where you can learn really just about anything, cooking, video editing, photography, how to critique literature, whatever you have a desire to learn, you can find on Skillshare. There are thousands and thousands of courses that are so well produced and really, really helpful. I would not be able to make this channel without the things that I learned on there. And here's the great news. It's stupid cheap for what you get from it. Uh, as I said, I've been using them for years now, long before I even started the channel. And they're giving my viewers a way to check out the service risk-free. Just head to skillshare.eqcm.net forward slash enablus and sign up for the trial. Yeah, that's a lot to type. There is a link down below, so you can click that. You will get two months of the service for free with no commitment at all. Check it out. You Go learn some things, decide if it's worth keeping. And the great news is that you really help the channel out just by clicking it and checking out the link. So again, if you don't have a membership with Skillshare, consider checking this out and let me know what you think. If you need some good courses, message me on Discord and I can give you some recommendations. Again, I'll have that link in the description down there. So let's go ahead and throw a spoiler warning out for the video. This video will have a spoiler rating of red with spoilers through the eye of the world. If you haven't finished the first book in the series, I'm surprised you're watching this video anyway, but nevertheless, watch this at your own risk. I will add that there are likely to be spoilers for the television show here as well and how it might differ from the books. So if you don't want that spoiled, you might not want to watch either. So there are two major pieces of news that have come out since my last video dropped a few days ago. Let's start with the less controversial piece of news. We previously had one director announced for the series in Uta Bresowitz, and now we finally have another. Actress and director Sally Richardson Whitfield has been tapped to direct episodes for The Wheel of Time. This was announced via her Instagram. You can see the post here on the screen. It's actually since been deleted apparently, so it looks as though they might be trying to control the information again, uh, just like with the leak for the actor last week. But again, once it's out there, it's out there. And here's what she says. And yet another adventure begins. For all my fantasy fans, this should be a clear clue of what I'm directing next. Hashtag Prague, hashtag The Wheel of Time, hashtag Amazon, hashtag Director's Life, hashtag Working Mom. So I'd say it's fairly obvious what show she's hinting at directing here, but uh, let's, let's ask, who is she? Well, Sally has been a fairly well-known actress since the early 90s and has starred in both movie and television roles. She was in the movie I Am Legend, voiced a character in the popular kids series Gargoyles, and had regular roles on the television series The Newsroom, Eureka, and NCIS. But hey, she's being hired as a director, right? Well, she also directs. She's directed episodes of multiple television series, including Altered Carbon, which is fantastic, highly recommend it, American Gods, The Sabrina the Teenage Witch Remake, The Magicians, and Luke Cage. As you can see, she's directed quite a few fantasy style series in the past, and so she should do a good job with The Wheel of Time. But that's the lesser of the bigger pieces of news, I think. So let's hit on the big piece, and I'm sure it's going to spark quite a bit of conversation around the series here. Brandon Sanderson released a set photo and a small blurb about his time with The Wheel of Time TV show set and filming. Now there is a ton to break down here, so let's start with the blurb itself. Sanderson lets us know that he can't tell us much as he isn't deeply involved in the production. He's mainly just an advisor for the scripts. He basically reads the scripts and then gives feedback to Rafe Judkins. Sanderson does say that he has been very impressed with Rafe during his visits to the set and believes that this is very high quality production. He says the sets and the acting are on point and he loves the shots that they're getting for the show. Now here's the part that's gonna cause a stir. He says that they are changing some things from the book with an emphasis there on the are, and then he states that he agrees with some of the changes 100%, and that some of them he's uncertain about how they're gonna be received. He goes on to talk about the set photos that he's trying to get approved for the release, and then links a picture that we'll talk about in a moment. So let's talk about what he said for a minute. I've seen quite a reaction to some of these comments with some fans being very worried that the show that we're gonna get looks nothing like the books, 
and they're worried that their favorite book series is basically going to be ruined. And I can certainly understand where the fear and the worry are coming from. So I'm going to do my best here to point uh, to a few things that might, you know, walk you back off the cliff a little bit. First of all, none of what he says here in the newsletter is any different than what he has said publicly in the past. He has always stated that there would be changes and that he knew that some would be very much welcomed and that some he wasn't sure how they'd be received. So this is nothing new. The second thing I'd point out is the vast majority of what he says is very positive. He has stated from day one that he's been very impressed with Rafe, his knowledge of the series, and his commitment to delivering a great adaptation of The Wheel of Time. He confirms what most of us that have been paying attention to the hires already assumed, and that that's the production quality is going to be extremely high, which is something I would expect at this point from any Amazon-backed production. This is the one area that we don't need to worry at all, and he says the acting and the sets have been excellent. And lastly, we all knew that there would be changes. The uncertainty right now is that we don't know what they are. It's that uncertainty that leads us to start speculating that our favorite character is going to be cut, that entire plot lines that we love will be absent. And this can lead us to start judging the show and the production team on simply theories that we have rather than the actual substance of the work they've done. The fact of the matter is that we don't know right now. There will be a time to state whether or not we think the changes were good for the story or not. There will be a time to judge the production quality and basically be upset if the show's a failure. We just aren't there yet. The fact that most of what we hear is actually encouraging should encourage you rather than scare you. I've said this before and I still believe this is true. I am prepared for the show to be different. I will always have the books to go back to. They will all It will always be my favorite series and no one can take away what's already been finished. I'm viewing the show as something entirely separate and I'm going to appreciate or judge it based on what it is alone. It won't ruin the books for me and so... Uh, I, I can kind of compartmentalize. We will have more information on the show as time goes on and better be able to make critical judgments of whether or not the show and the showrunners will be any good. But right now, based on what we have to go from, I'm encouraged. Now, just as I get done saying that we don't know what the changes will be, the very set photo that Sanderson posted may have actually leaked one of those changes. And that does give us some idea, even if a small one, of what direction the showrunners will be taking with the show. So let's first of all talk about the picture itself. Sanderson posted a picture of himself from the set of the show in what appears to be a very misty background at night. The lighting and the mist in the background have a very like horror movie vibe, which I sort of dig, but that's not really the news here. The real news is what's buried in the photo's metadata. For those of you that aren't aware or familiar of, with what metadata is, it's essentially descriptive information that's buried within most pictures that are taken with modern digital devices. Metadata is information that's buried within the photo that gives three main categories of data. The first is administrative data, like creation time and date and naming details. The second category is descriptive data, and that is often tells us what's in the photo. This could include headlines, a caption, a description, search keywords, or even the people that are included in the photo. And the last category is information pertinent to copyright data, as well as usage rights, things like that. The photo that Sanderson leaked had a bunch of information buried in the descriptive data area of the photo. Embedded within the description of the photo was the following text. Wheel of Time S01 underscore episode 102 underscore D06 extension opposite shore peer to complete Hightower wants to return and land won't allow him. The wheel weaves as the wheel wills. Hightower drowns going after the sinking ferry. Okay, so let's break this down. It looks like from the descriptors here that the photo is from season one, episode two, and what I would assume is day six of the filming, if I'm extrapolating what the D06 stands for. The fact that this takes place on the opposite shore of the Tarn after they've crossed the ferry gives us a clue as to the timeline for the episodes as well. It looks as though they will cross the Terran in episode 2 of the show, which is also titled Shadows Waiting. This means that the majority of episode 1 will be in Emmonsfield and that we will see Winter Night most likely in episode 1. But probably the biggest leak here is the fact that Hightower, the ferryman that the group pulled out of bed in the middle of the night to take them across the river, apparently dies in an attempt to save the ferry that Moraine sunk with the One Power. This is an obvious departure from the books where Hightower runs off after the ferry sinks but doesn't die. So what does this tell us? Well, it gives us some clarity to the line that was read from the table read scene. You go back, you give them a way to follow us. I can't allow that. Crossing that river would be foolish, and you are not a fool. Come on, do you really think she's any better than what's chasing us? Of course I do. In that scene, we hear some dialogue between Rand and Egwene as they seemingly describe Moraine and their lack of trust towards her 
based on what she did to the fairy. Well, this leak gives some added weight here as Moraine's actions lead to the death of the ferryman rather than simply putting the fairy at the bottom of the river. I actually like this change quite a bit. This is a theme that's present in the book, that the Emmons Fielders aren't sure if they can trust Moraine, but more importantly, that she puts her quest ahead of anything else. They are simply ignorant farmers and from a backwater farming village, and they can't possibly understand the importance of their survival like Moraine does. It's this tension that leads them to mistrust her and by her actions, leading to the death of Hightower, we get to see how ruthless Moraine can actually be in achieving her goals, noble as they are. This simply serves to drive home a tension that already exists within the books, and I think this is a welcome change to me. It's changes like this that lead me to believe that they are going to go after the grittier feel for the show that many of us wanted. I don't believe that they're going to hold back on the horror elements or the other R-rated aspects of the books in the adaptation. To me, this is a welcome addition as I want that gritty feeling for the show and I want them to really lean into the violence and kind of the thriller themes that exist in the books, especially in Eye of the World. Let me know what you think down below of this news and Sanderson's comments in general. I wanna know if you like what you hear or if you have bigger fears than before based on this information. Please like the video if you enjoyed the content and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like this. I will have a video about the upcoming Wheel of Time Wednesday announcements as well as that's coming up this week. Check out the Patreon if you wanna support the channel and what we're doing here. There's some really cool tiers where you can kinda of interact and help control the content that I make. If that interests you, consider supporting me there. And make sure you join the Discord server, it's free. If you don't know much about Discord, just click the link and it'll walk you through how to become a part of our community. We get to be Wheel of Time nerds with other Wheel of Time Time nerds and that's a lot of fun. Hey guys, thanks for watching and until next time, peace out. Tinker in the kitchen with a job of work to do. My mistress up above slipping on a rope of blue. She prances down the staircase, a fancy us a free crying tinker. Oh dear tinker, won't you mend a pot for me?